The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cindra Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Lauren Trujillo, and Lauren is director of the Santa Barbara Public Library Foundation. Welcome, Lauren. Hi, it's so great to be here. Thank you for inviting me on to chat about our library and the foundation. Yes, and so we have the library and we ha have the foundation and you work primarily with the foundation. Yes, I'm the foundation director of just the foundation. Um, it is the separate 501c3 oh, really? development arm of the library, I like to say, yeah. to help explain that. but. Our mission is to fund large-scale initiatives for the public library. And by large-scale initiatives, I mean like the Children's Library, oh. which was our first capital project in uh, 2012. It was completed in 2015. It was a $4.6 million capital campaign. Oh, wow. So a big project for the public library, but a huge piece of our community now that so many rely on. So projects like the Children's Library um, and Future Library Plaza, our next project. Um, are Plaza? Tell <laughs> us about that. Yes, so the Library Plaza is the space between the Art Museum and the Library okay. off of Annapamu Street. Mm -hmm. A lot of people won't recognize that space right now because it's been fenced off for the past four years. Oh. If you can think of that space downtown. Yes, yes, yes. So very, um, I like to say it looks like Gotham City right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uninviting, it doesn't represent our public library. So we are thrilled to bring this capital campaign to the public library and revitalize this space for oh. the community. What a wonderful project. Yes, yes. And so what will happen at the plaza? So um, the plaza, it's a $5 million capital campaign to um, expand the outdoor space We'll be making it open and inviting. The new design will add lighting and clear passageways through the Paseo. Uh, it's going to provide over 10,000 square feet of programmable space. Wow. So a major outdoor thoroughfare for our community and for the library. It won't just serve the library though, it will serve our cultural arts district. When you think about that area downtown, we have the Granada, the Art Museum, uh, La Ricotta, the Arlington Theater, mm -hmm. uh, the Victoria Theater, all of these spaces around us will benefit from this outdoor space that will bring families and people downtown for oh outdoor gosh. events and festivals. So, so exciting. That sounds exciting. Have you started work on it already? Yes. So we started, we launched our uh, kind of quiet phase of the campaign oh, last, okay. uh, last fall mm -hmm. and have been running this through the um, pandemic, but our community has been so supportive. Oh, I'm so glad and come to forward, hear that. and um, we've already uh, achieved 85 percent of our campaign goal. Congratulations! Thank you. And so um, it's uh, up to the community now to come forward and help us cross that finish line to reach the five million dollar goal. Uh, the city is contributing towards this um, campaign Good. goal. Uh, 1.6 million dollars is coming from the city of Santa Barbara and um, at, to, to show their public-private partnership. Uh, libraries have always relied on public-private partnerships. Not many people know, but our library is a Carnegie Library. Oh, now what does that mean? So, in 1917, um, our community needed a library and um, Andrew Carnegie was friends with somebody on our board of the library Gosh. here and offered $50,000 to help start a, a library here in Santa Barbara. And the city matched that fund and uh, built what is currently our library. And it's been there for over 100 years now. Isn't that something? So I incredible. bet people don't know that. Yes, yes. 
So it just shows that our libraries always relied on a public-private partnership of the city coming forward and offering um, the daily operations and the needs for the community. Mm -hmm. But the community needs to step up to provide the library that our community deserves and needs and, and take it to the next level and right. elevate it. Okay, so I think a lot of people may think, um, well, doesn't the city pay for the library? Why do you need to raise money? But what you're saying is, yes, the city contributes their share for operations and just, you know, but, but your foundation work, raising money from the community, really helps make it something really special that we can all be proud of. Absolutely. And it's, it's a 21st century library that our community deserves, mm -hmm. and that's where the foundation comes in to help bolster that support. So the city funds 78% of the operating budget for the library. Okay. The county funds 12%. Mm -hmm. um, the rest is filled with grants and other kind of outside resources. But the foundation comes in to bolster other projects and to really take our library to the next level. With yeah. um, the Children's Library, we also fund a program called Santa Barbara Reads, which is a community reading program that happens every fall. And um, it's one book for one community, and so we're all reading the same book at the same oh, time. How cool is that? For 30 days. Uh -huh. And there's 30 days of programming and activities, so it's a major uh, community program that uh, relies on additional funding. And so the foundation has been able to come forward and make that program bigger than ever. Oh, that is great. And so you collaborate with a lot of other organizations and schools and Absolutely. Oh, nice. This year, um, coming up, the book was just announced for um, Santa Barbara Reads this year. It's going to be Joy Harjo's um, book of poetry, uh, An American oh. Sunrise. And so we'll be bringing Joy Harjo to the community oh, great. and have programming with the author, bring her to the schools, and really focus on um, the indigenous people in our community and Very have program nice. around that. Um, which is so important to recognize the communities that currently exist here and make up a major part of Santa Barbara. Yeah, so will that be focused on a certain age group or a range All of ages? All ages. It's oh. going to be wonderful and we'll offer the book to the community for free in oh, English gosh. and Spanish. Oh man. So you can come pick up your copy, participate in programming, events, um, and, and these types of things will really grow when we have the new library plaza. Uh, to take those events or programs or book handouts outside and really expand what the library is already doing to reach more people. Uh, it will be beautiful and so we can't wait for things like that. So you've already started. Now when do you think that the plaza might be complete? So we are really hoping to break ground this fall uh, with the intent to raise the remaining funds uh -huh. um, and so uh, as we reach that goal in the next few months we would be able to break ground in October uh, sometime in the fall, and then um, it will take six to nine months for, to complete. Oh, and so, so will that sort of fencing thing stay up there while you're Yes, so the, the fencing work? will stay up, and right now we have a new wrap on the fencing, and uh. it shows um, the renderings and designs and gives a little bit more detail of what we're hoping to accomplish with the project, oh, so I recommend good. checking it out when you're downtown or out and about um, yeah. in the neighborhood. That'll get people more excited and more informed yes. about what's happening and maybe they'll want to donate. Exactly. Coming soon, the new library plaza. Um, we can't wait. And I think another thing people always ask is beyond the library, how will this benefit the community? Mm -hmm. And the library partners with over 60 local organizations to host 60. programming. 60? Wow. Yes. Yes. So I mean, I think uh, a lot of people have been to programming in the Faulkner Gallery. Mm -hmm. um, whether yes. it's uh, the League of Women Voters, uh, public events, and um, author lectures or community mm -hmm. panels, on and on, these events uh, sometimes have to turn people away because the Faulkner Gallery yes. gets overfilled. And so the new plaza will be able to spill out from the Faulkner Gallery um, onto this outdoor space and can host and fill even more people um, and support those nonprofits or organizations that rely on, on community and public space. Oh, that, that is great. And so it'll obviously be a lot, a lot more beautiful than it is now. That yes. space is not exactly 
a beautiful Absolutely. place right now. The new design um, really incorporates clear sight lines, leveling the grades, and making it accessible. The library is all about access, and so for the front entrance to not foster that for the community is a huge issue with right. lighting and different grades. So opening it up and making it inviting and accessible is key. So will it have any kind of a roof or, or anything? Like you, you said if, you know, meetings and people spilling out of the Faulkner Gallery mm -hmm. and all, which of course is you know, a, a building yes. combined with it. So the plaza will just be open uh -huh. um, and, and have no cover. Um, there'll be four seedless olive trees planted in the middle to provide some shade. Nice. But this outdoor space will be able to project movies onto oh. the art museum's wall. Oh, and that's cool. So imagine the film festival. Imagine oh, gee whiz. art exhibitions that could be displayed. Uh, the possibilities are really endless for what's already happening in our community, but for new ideas and new possibilities. And that's what yeah. the library is all about, is discovery and information and access. So I think this project really speaks to telling the story of what we can do for the community. I guess so. Who knows? Maybe a famous artist will come and paint a mural. Yes. yes. Anything is possible. That Anything. sounds great. Yeah. So we can't wait. Yes. So now we have a few minutes left. So um, tell us what else you'd like for people to know about the foundation, the Library Foundation? Well, the Library Foundation has um, is very new, and so we're just trying to get the message out about why funding your library is important. Um, it really, again, speaks to that public-private partnership and supporting your public library and our most vulnerable community members. The library isn't just about books anymore. It's so much more. It's a community center. Mm -hmm. It's a third space. Uh, uh -huh. And that term really means where people can come together, converse, experience life, and build that community that we need, especially in challenging times. So at the library, you're not just there to get books. You're getting information, mm -hmm. job support, computer coaching. Um, we're, the, the library does this program that just started as a result of the pandemic called Nurturing Know How. And it's helping uh, caregivers really learn and um, professionalize uh, mm -hmm. their, their work. Uh, we really need more caregivers now, and that was something that yeah. was very present during all of this. And so offering trainings and helping um, those taking care of children learn the developmental skills and um, resources available to them to help uh, in those early years that are so important for children from zero to five. Yeah. So that's just one example, but the library is critical in helping fill gaps for, for Santa Barbara and fill gaps for our community. And so um, volunteers, do you use volunteers in your work? So uh, the library does uh, accept volunteers for computer coaching, for conversation practice, mm -hmm. for people learning English or Spanish. I think there's always something you can do to help out the community at the public library. For the foundation, uh, we're working to just advocate for libraries and for the public library in Santa Barbara. So any work there, volunteers are always um, happily accepted to help spread the word and to um, get that message out that the Library Foundation is there for a reason and uh, can help elevate our library to the next level. So that would be a good way, for example, for, for our community to support the library and the foundation. Absolutely. And um, with that, private support is so important. and so. Uh, investing in your public library is investing in the future, is investing yeah. in children, and so many of the social issues that our community faces. Our library never stopped serving the community during the pandemic, offering things um, from sidewalk service, books mm. that you can pick up on, on the go, um, to now a library on the go van that is visiting communities all oh, around wow. and opening up with books and activities and uh, Wi-Fi that goes oh. a one mile radius outside of the van. Oh, so for people who don't have access to those things, yes. to open their eyes to what the library oh. can provide for them is, is really beautiful. And so investing in those things really helps make Santa Barbara a better place. What a valuable service that is. Yes. 
and it's much appreciated, I can only imagine, because there's so many students, for example, who don't have access to Wi-Fi. And especially during the summertime. Mm -hmm. The summertime is so key for kids to continue reading and to continue learning on their mm -hmm. own at home. And without those resources, um, they fall behind. Yeah. And so the library on the Go Van is a great um, space to fill that and get people excited about learning. Yeah. They run yeah, to the yeah. van like the ice cream truck. Oh. And so it's really beautiful. Yeah. That is great. And you know, it's, it's amazing that even during the pandemic, you have been able to raise so much money for, for the new project, yes. the plaza. It's um, incredible, but we are almost to the finish line, and it really relies on, or it's going to be dependent on the community stepping up and recognizing this space as their space and right. claiming ownership for this plaza because it is a public space for everyone, and the library is a space where all are welcome. So we're hoping that people will go on the website, make a donate, a financial donation. Yes, uh, please to the visit work. our website. Um, sblibraryfoundation.org. You can see all of the renderings, all of the projects that we've supported, oh. and um, get an idea for the future. Yeah, that children's project. What, how do you call it? Children's? The Children's Library. library. So that was, the, the public library didn't really have a children's library before um, this yeah. project. And so the children's library now serves um, uh, at one point, it was 3,700 children a year were being served by children's resources at the library. Mm -hmm. Now it's over 22,000 a year. Cow. So it's super increased yeah. and the need is there. Um, the library is serving over 600,000 people a year and reaching new audiences with programs. And, and really, we credit that to the children's library bringing people out and, and to the services at the library. Yeah, I remember when that project was first getting started and people were trying to imagine what it would be like and you folks are raising money and yeah, I think even the Women's Fund, I, I, that might have been why I was there uh, as a member of the Women's Fund to just, you know, find out what's what's going on and now it is so beautiful and over 22,000. Yes, it's a vibrant piece of the library and just one example of what elevating a space can do and what the ripple effect can be. Yes. And now we've seen programs and stroller derbies down there with all of these parents and families and kids oh attending the library. Um, it's clearly going to be filling a need when we create this new outdoor space uh, for everyone to use. Yeah. Um, and I think this past year too, we've seen the importance of public outdoor spaces. Yes. And uh, how how they can serve um, all sorts of needs, um, from outdoor festival programs to um, just having a public space to meet. So. And probably every donation, no matter how small, uh, is welcome. Yes, it every donation welcome. Uh, the the library really depends on our community and yep. vice versa. So we need to lift each other up. And that's um, definitely, I think, a message Santa Barbara understands. We're a very giving community. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, gosh, Lauren, yeah. thank you so much for coming on our show. Well, th thank you so much for having me and um, having supporting nonprofits and supporting yes, Santa Barbara. Of course. And uh, we look forward to hearing more about the project and peeking through that, that little wall. Yeah, is looking it, through the fence and yeah. seeing as the ground breaks and more celebrations to come. and. Uh, more for the library to do and, and step up and provide for our community. That's great. Well, we're just going to get out there and raise more funds. Yes. For that foundation, <laughs> for that plaza. Yes. All right. Well, thank you for all, all that you do. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on 805 Focus, and we'll see you next time.